we come together today in this sacred holy space of prayer and meditation to join heart to heart as one consciousness, whether we are on this call at this moment or joining at a later time, there is no time or distance in spirit. So to prepare for meditation, we set the intention for the body and the mind to relax. For the body to release any tension and for the mind to settle. So scan the body now for any resistance, tension, or blockages that may keep us from being fully relaxed while still remaining alert. Whether we are seated or lying down, we set the intention to turn within to the stillest place where we align with, harmonize with, and connect with the God of our understanding and with our own divinity. So to facilitate opening to spirit and relaxating, relaxation of the body and settling of the mind, we focus on the breath the inhale and the exhale, the breathing in and the breathing out. Feel the warmth of the air as we breathe in and breathe out. There's no need to control the breath, but we just become aware of the rise and the fall of the breath as it becomes longer and deeper. With each breath, we feel the body releasing, relaxing, opening. So to further relax, we begin at the head. Feel the cheeks soften just with our attention. The eyes soften as if they're resting on pillows. The jaw drops and the tongue floats to the top of the mouth. Feel even the top of the head release as the eyes, the cheeks, and the mouth just relax and soften. Keeping the spine straight and alert. Allow the shoulders to drop just a quarter of an inch inviting further relaxation and focus. As our attention moves down the spine and the internal organs, the entire body, the trunk, now begins to release. The arms 
are relaxed and soft, either to your side or on your lap. Feel the fingers tingle. Now move your attention to the hips so that the hips are softening into the surface where you are either seated or lying down. Sinking further into this sacred space. and allow that softness to continue down the thighs, the knees, the calves, the ankles, the top of the feet, the bottom of the feet, and the toes. We are now an open and receptive vessel for God's love and light. For God's guidance. For God's goodness and grace. You may even feel the spiritual heart opening. You may feel a warmth or pressure or just an inner knowing of your connection with spirit. in this open-hearted space that we can become even more aware of the divine presence. As we focus on infinite love, pure love, divine love, we become fully aware of our own divinity and of the presence of God. It is in this space that we seek guidance, that we feel God's love. That we experience God's joy. It is in the spiritual heart that we have the awareness that there is a divine purpose and intention for our lives. As we assess our skills and talents, we turn within to this space for further clarity on what is my unique purpose. For each of us are unique individuals here to provide something unique to the world. to make it a better place, to fulfill who we are meant to be. we are unclear about our own purpose or intention, we remember that we choose how we respond to life. And the more we open to spirit, 
the more God reveals to us our life's purpose in moments of quiet reflection. There is meaning and purpose in every moment of our lives. We are each divinely created with a purpose an infinite potential to be who we are meant to be. And in the face of this pure love, our purpose is revealed to us. with patience that we sit in this space knowing that all God's goodness and grace will be revealed to us in divine timing. Charles Fillmore stated that within each and every one of us there is this open place where we have a connection to the universal knowledge and our part is to continuously try to draw it forth So that which needs to be revealed is revealed. We long to fulfill this purpose. And each of us need a sense of purpose to go forward. So we stand in faith, in prayer, allowing our own unique purpose to unfold and be revealed to us. If the answers do not come at this moment, we affirm that they will come at the right and perfect time, under grace and in perfect ways, when we are both ready and open. God is always, always with us. And even in the stillness and silence, when we may not hear the whisper, God's presence is waiting patiently for us to turn to God, to be ready to receive. ready to receive our purpose so we can live a life fulfilling, joyful, and full of love.
So we remain in this stillness, in this quiet space, allowing what needs to be revealed to us to be revealed. Knowing we are always being blessed with what we need, with what we need, even when it may appear otherwise. So we give thanks for all that is, and rest and bask in this space of loving kindness, in the stillness. And so we let it be. Amen.